Hey guys, welcome to another episode in my squad builder series and in this episode we have another hybrid squad and this time it's going to be a full silver hybrid uh, which was actually sent in by a subscriber of mine, his link will be in the description below so thank you for sending that in. It is a uh, kind of a skill squad, you know there are a lot of players with full star skills and uh, you know amazing launchers and such so it's a pretty good um, like a montage team I guess you could say and it's going to be a hybrid between the Pro League, the um, Liga do Brazil and the Liga BBVA so uh, I guess let's get straight into it uh, on goal here let me set this up in the right formation and so we get the right players we have this goalkeeper from Club Braga I think it's how you pronounce it he's called Jorgasevic if I'm not mistaken, uh, he is a pretty solid goalkeeper, I must say, nothing really special in there, but he is uh, in there for the chemistry reason, and uh, you know, he's still a decent goalkeeper, he has consistent stats, everything is around the 70s, so um, yeah, moving on to the first centre back here, we have Elmback, now if you've seen my Road to Glory, uh, you, you know how much of a beast this guy is, 82 pace, 74 defending, 72 uh, heading that's where his uh, standout stats and, uh, and of course his 82 pace makes him really deadly he also scores quite a few goals from corners uh, you know you wouldn't say that with 72 heading but he still does he's quite tall he's quite strong so you know he can make some um, he, do he can do some damage in the box I guess and moving on to the other center back you already seen him probably it's going to be Canoe now he was also one of my center backs in the road to glory and he is also absolutely amazing he has 80 pace 73 defending and 79 heading so uh, pretty similar to Elmbeck he's also really tall and really uh, strong so it's just a really good pairing at the back right there now moving on to the right back here uh, we're gonna have Opara now uh, he was also in my road to glory you know it's pretty standard defense to be honest and um, yeah, he has 90 pace which is amazing for a fullback that's uh, pretty much all you need and although it says uh, that he has 53 shooting I actually scored a cracker of a long shot with him in one of my matches like from the halfway line so his shot is actually pretty decent I must say then moving on to the left back here um, we have Marcio Azevedo 89 pace 5 star skills he is a really attacking left back though uh, you know he uh, can ca get caught out of the back uh, quite often but he can make up with that pace and uh, you know he, you, your center back can make up for that so uh, that's not a real pl problem I must say and you know he is just amazing and going forward so I just love this left back pretty much then moving on to the um, first center mid here we're gonna have Sersinho in the middle now um, this guy uh, 83, 83 pace, uh, he has some really consistent stats, you know, 70 passing, 76 dribbling, 72 defending, and also 60 shooting, 60 heading, but of, um, it's, uh, you know, the shooting that really lies, because it says that he's 60 shooting, but his long shot is absolutely amazing, you can pretty much take a shot from anywhere on the pitch, if you just aim at goal, he will get a shot away on target, no matter about it, you know, he has just a really, really good long shot, now moving on to the uh, second set of mid, we have Fernando Cassain, I believe it's uh, how he said, it, or it's Cassain. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a uh, he has full star skills. Uh, he has 84 pace, 78 dribbling. That are his main stats. He also has a really, really good long shot, just like Serginho. Although he has only 59 shooting, but I just love love this guy pretty much. Full star skills, good long shots. That's everything you want from your midfield. Now moving on to the final center mid, we have Paulinho. Now this guy is pretty much the same as Serginho, I must say. Uh, you know, he only has 3 star skills, but he has a cracker of a long shot and he has 82 pace. He has uh, some more consistent sets with like 69 shooting, 70 passing, 75 dribbling, 72 defending, 65 heading. And he's also just a really good player, so I, I really love this midfield because you can just like pick up the ball. Uh, aim at goal, take a shot, and like 9 times out of 10, the keeper will have some trouble with it, or it will just go into the back of the net. That's how good these guys' long shots are. I think there was one match which I uh, literally scored 5 long shots in one match, like 5 five goals uh, outside like 30 yards or so. So that is really, really good. Moving on to the center forward now, we have Felipe Coutinho, his transferred version to the Liga BBVA. Uh, he has also full star skills, really good shot, 80 pace, 82 dribbling. And the thing I like most about him is probably his ball control. He has some really close uh, ball control. 
you know, and together with his full star skills and his good shot, that makes him just a deadly, deadly center forward. He is pretty expensive, though, the most expensive player in this squad with around 25k on the P3, but, uh, you know, it, he is definitely worth it. Then moving on to the first striker now, we're going to have Vela. Now, uh, he's going to play on the right since he is left-footed. He has 86 pace, 73, 73 shooting, 67 passing, and 76 dribbling. Uh, you know, he has four-star skills, and if you have played with him before, he is absolutely amazing, you know. His finesse shot is really, really good, although his weak foot is pretty good. I don't know how many stars it has, but I'm guessing, based on my experience, at least four. Um, and he is just a really good player, you know. He's also four-star skills, which I already mentioned, but that's just a really good thing to have in a strike because you can do, like, Ronaldo jobs or a simple roulette or whatever. So, um, yeah, moving on to the final striker now. Uh, we're going to have uh, Aruna Kone. And he's going to be on the left since he's right-footed. So he's, the, like, the opposite of Fela. Uh, he's going to have... He has 83 pace, 71 shooting, 77 dribbling. And now, just like Fela and Coutinho and some other players in the squad, he is also a four-star skiller, which makes him even more deadly. And, you know, those three guys up front, just... They're just a tank. That's pretty much it. They're just uh, a really good pairing up front. And they are absolutely amazing. So I really would recommend this squad. It's like one of the best squads I've ever played with. And I'm not even kidding. And, you know, I would just recommend it. The, um, all the prices of the plays will be in the description. Um, yeah, so... Um, that's pretty much it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please leave a like rating, that would really help me out. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for uh, some more episodes of this squad builder series. Uh, suggest in the comment section below which player you would like to see involved in a hybrid or just a, a regular squad next time. And uh, yeah guys, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next episode, so peace.